becomes human. Um, I just got back from San Francisco. I took a weekend trip about four days from Thursday to Sunday and it was the most amazing adventure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, saw the bridge, went to Pier 39 and Angel Island and it was actually quite awesome. But enough about that. We are here with Detroit Become Human. Part number two, and I think these... If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Um, I'm not changing anything. Thank you, ma'am. But anyways, um, f as far as I remember, things were about to start heating up. There was a couple situations that didn't look the best. Um, I know, what was her name? Kara. That situation was a little icky. Um, I don't know, who was it, uh, Marcus, we're not quite sure too much on that story yet, and we have yet to see the return of Connor, so if you guys are excited, smash the like button, and if you guys want to continue seeing my choices within this game, or maybe even Heavy Rain after this, go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss an episode, and with all that being said, let's hop right into it. So... I did completely exit the game after the screen that I ended in the last video, so I'm really hoping, one, it saved, and two, it kind of picks up where it left off. It's kind of it's kind of weird exiting out of the game, because you, you're not quite sure the path that it's going to leave off on, but I'm pretty sure after every flowchart is like... A chapter being ended or however you can call the little segments so this is looking I think this is where we left <gasps> oh as soon as I talked about him he made a return I really like I really like the officer side of things and the what was, like the domestic so there's both sides to this the androids? Is it? Oh, it's the right analog stick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right analog is to look and to interact with things. I have to remember that. <coughs> Find Lieutenant Anderson. Scan faces. Okay. Shit, I thought androids were. Um. Security guard. Okay. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just sneezed. Your <laughs> well, this obviously isn't unemployed. Is that why you're angry? You buy me a drink. DUI. You, maybe you should stop drinking. I don't know. That's just a thought. Barman, what you got? Business owner, you cool? I thought. I know you're not. Is it this guy that's hiding from me? There it is. It's a picture of him in his prime. Introduce yourself. Okay. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Persistent. What do you, want? you were assigned a case early this evening a homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Oh, so it's making us have to interact with somebody. Um, understand. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. So we're having to interact I with people that don't like us. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. 
It'll make life easier for both of us. Um. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. <laughs> I really like the little circle thing. It's subtle, but it's like just enough. Did you say homicide? <laughs> okay, so this is a new case. I was, I was wondering if it. I know we. I was jamming. I know. The case in the very beginning um, it seemed to be here. ended, but I wasn't sure if they were still talking to it better or not. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking man, Conflicting orders. Selecting priority. Conflicting orders. Oh, so I was ordered something else. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this conflicting is a homicide? Part. I'm not confirming anything. We just got here. We don't know nothing. Typical DPD. They don't tell us oh, look at the rain. Androids off. are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even a tank? We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call about saying to the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. How are these people affording full-on androids? Carlos. Jeez, the smell. It was even oh. worse before we opened the windows. Oh boy. The victim's name's Carlos or Oh. Oh Jeez. boy. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. Oh. According no. to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. He stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Ah, okay. stayed he's in. Went worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Yeah. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Oh. More when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Is this the shit that... Oh, what was his name? What was his name? Todd? I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Are we looking blood again? Ooh, that's human blood this time. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't they put the reader put on any their more tongue. evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> As he licks it again. Dried blood. That's the 19 days. Two out of ten. Excuse me, Ossifer. Hello. Hey, 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 calm down. What was that? It's a blood. Let me see it. Okay, so that's the same. So, there's a wardrobe, a desk. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Eden Club. Come visit us. 
extra place. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. The food. Pantry. Demon victim. Uh should I is that like my red key? ice. That's so cool. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. How he interacts with Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Uh uh. How he interacts with um, the environment. What else? Why does it keep telling Okay, so he was high. Twenty-eight stab wounds. Um, fell over the bottles. Victim was stabbed at this point. Ooh, we're going into the kitchen. So he's. They came from the kitchen. He just sat there. Ooh, okay. He was stabbed twenty-eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Perfect writing. I am alive. Regular letter spawn. Cyber life stands. They would have their entirely own farm, wouldn't they? Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. They came from the kitchen. Handprint. Okay. Oh, who's this? Cable. Chair. Handprint. Signs of struggle. Oh, like what was that? What was that? More blood. Your Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Mark. Interesting. Deviant took a knife. Ooh, he was beating him. This is tact emotional shock. So he came at him with the knife. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. He grabbed a knife. Hit him. And then he fell. steps.
shoe print. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Wow. Deviate didn't escape. So he... Is he still in the house? They said it was locked in the inside. Okay, where's... I feel like I'm missing something. Um, excuse me. Thank you, sir. Oh, there's a hole. Oh. Hello, controls? Oh, that's a obsessive writing. God? They're just offering. <laughs> that would be weird if they're not like made to fill or think or anything. A ten out of ten. Let's go talk to Lieutenant. He's in here, right? Yeah. Lieutenant! I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> there are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. With the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the so android was the trying time. to defend itself, right? Yeah. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. The living room. They tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not uh, totally ridiculous. Oh. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Robot blood. Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? If I lick the ground. Yeah.
ladder. Ladder's missing. It's not. something to climb. Um, can I pick up the chair that's not evidence? Nice. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm going to practice my stripper routine. Check something. From the Eden Club. Now hiring. Where's dude bro hiding? That is not him. He wouldn't just be standing there. There's a the ladder. It's gonna make me go to it anyway. I don't think that's him. You want to just be standing there, like waiting for somebody to come up. Dumb. Look for Dina. <gasps> Is that him right there? <gasps> Is that him? Duh. <gasps> it is, it is, it is, it is. Connor, go! He saw you, Connor. Connor, if you don't... Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? <gasps> Is that him flashing? Does he still have the knife? <laughs> Just defending myself. Uh -oh. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Okay, so... So some of them, is it like breaking the program? Deviant located. Well, if they're breaking the program, that means they were programmed to fill. They can't just like up and feel, right? There has to be like kind of some kind of switch, even though if it's not not meant to be switched on, it's there. So then, why are we surprised that they're feeling if we gave it to them already? Question mark. Oh, there's still three, four evidences that we didn't find. Connor knows what happened. Oh, that would be like if he didn't know what happened. Okay, let's continue. Oh no. This poor baby girl. We gotta get her out of this house. Todd. You worthless. Maybe not always, but right now you're being it. Look up Jones in. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. So that's the same stuff as that that guy was just on at that house. What's your name, Kara? Let's go there Kara. wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Two 
turn on the light. And I just stand there. Serve Alice and Todd. I already served them. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Can we just stand there? Wait for new instructions. These androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. What is this camera? They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! Oh, Jesus. Can I, like, not stand in their face while they eat? What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? No. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Don't know. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. <sighs> my fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Just switch flip. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. No, it's, it's not her fault. fault. No, Daddy, it's not. No. It's all your fucking no, it's fault. Not. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. No, it's her fault! It's not her fault. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have. Come on, Kara. Oh, no, my finger slipped. Come on, Kara. Break it. Break it, Kara. Kara, break it. Come on, Kara. Come on, Kara. She broke construction. Protect Alice. Reason with Todd. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Too much time. Cargo. 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 Cargo, get in there. <gasps> no, these controls. Daddy. <gasps> he has a belt. Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? <gasps> Kara! You useless. Seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. No. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Come on, Kara. You were trained. Watch out, Kara! Oh my goodness. I didn't see the controller. Come here, bitch. Oh no. Come on, car. No. No, 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 Come on. Car, no. no. Car. Car, come on. Car, come on. No! I 
Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Please, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Please, don't be scared of me. Please. Oh, she. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, she took my hand. Go to the stop. Come on. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. She took my hand after I did that. She's okay. I didn't want her to be scared of me. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm shaking. That was intense. We are free. Get to Alice after Todd. Oh, shoot. Gun seen a new home. Go upstairs. Oh. So if I would talk to Todd, all this other stuff would could have happened. So I'm assuming if I didn't shoot, I would have died. Okay. Ooh, shaky, shaky. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. <laughs> all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Hmm. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. What's... Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Oops. There is all kinds of controller. Did like, you leave the light on in the QTs. studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, gosh. Call Are we getting... Police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. Oh, the no. patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Uh. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. <sighs> what if... I should have just went by myself. Who the f is that? Leo! What are you doing? Is he trying to scam painting? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Okay. Make Leo leave. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. 
All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Hey! Hey, 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 no! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! <gasps> Ooh, he's punching the wall. Let's go, Marcus. That felt so good to do those actions toward the wall. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Shut up. Stupid. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna take Get the f off me. <gasps> Leo. Oh my god. <gasps> I didn't know you were gonna push him that hard, Leo. Marcus. My little boy. <gasps> no. Carl, I. I didn't mean to push him that hard. I didn't mean He'll to push him that hard. He'll destroy you, Marcus. <gasps> you gotta go. Get out of here. Go. Say nothing. Get out! Go! Marcus, now. go! Go! No. no! Marcus, go! Marcus! <gasps> Don't no. fucking move! He doesn't like people. He's not going to answer. Say something, goddammit. He was literally abused by a human. He's not going to sit there and talk. Fuck it. I'm out of here. I don't know why you thought that was going to work. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Well? What should we do then? You think you know it all. I could try questioning it. <laughs> He's not going to talk to a human, you dumbasses. Yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay. Come on, Connor. I'm not gonna deny it that I like the close-ups of Connor. Not too shabby to look at him, I say. All right. Long list of video game characters. Let's sit down. Hi, sir. Let's analyze him first. Let's see everything we can assess. Well, what did that say? Oh, okay, that's just some stuff. Let's collect everything that he's saying before we ask him things. That's with the bat. Okay. Let's 
What's this? Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. <gasps> Signs of software instability, probability of self destruction low. Okay. Interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay. Name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Ooh, too low, too low. Okay. Wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Okay, it's going on. Did he up. beat you? Oh. Um. Reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Let's go we'll back down. Um. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. Okay, now it's... Okay, we're too low. We need to amp it up. We need to amp you it up. You don't seem to understand the situation. Amp it up, Connor. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. There you go, there you go. We need to get up higher. gonna do to me interesting question that you would say that they're gonna destroy me aren't they uh, they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have okay. no choice if they want to understand what happened we're barely to back to where we started why did you tell them you found me uh, it's why my job you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Mm -hmm. I just accomplished my mission. Yep. I don't want to die. We need to amp it up. Then talk to me. Talk. I, I... I can't. Choose approach. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. Oh, um. I think we're too low. Uh, let's convince. Threaten. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you we understand? Higher. Indifferent. Okay then. Don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, Ooh, right? Optimal. Warned. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. Uh oh, that might be. They're gonna shut down. you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Ooh. Optimal. He tortured me every day. <gasps> I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he's talking. He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Pain? scared. Oh. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. <laughs> Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Hey, let's get this confession. writing why did you write I am alive on the wall he used to tell me I was nothing that I was just 
a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Mm. We'll do statues. Sculpture first. in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. What? No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh! <gasps> they want to take over. Insist. Trigger attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. Marcus was saying. Anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. He broke the wall. I really don't. RA9. Who is RA9? I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. <gasps> Don't touch me. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult. You <laughs> only make things harder. No. No. Don't touch me. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this. Got it. The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh. <gasps> Hake pulled a gun to defend me? You're not gonna get away with Where's the stuff. robot? Where did the robot go? Where's the robot? Where's the robot? Oh, okay. It's okay. Please. Everything's please don't. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's over now. It's okay. Nobody's it's okay. gonna hurt it's you. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please. Don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room. And it won't cause any trouble. <sighs> please don't do anything, please. 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 The truth is inside. I unlocked something. <gasps> Hake defended me! He hates androids and he defended me. He defended me. I'm building a relationship up with Hank. Android trusts Connor. Android was sent back to his cell. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Oh, I got a trophy that said confess er confession. That's what popped up on the screen. 
we'll do one more one more little segment, I think. It's kinda getting long. So actually I know you guys are gonna hate me, but we're actually gonna stop right there. Um that was actually a pretty good spot to pause on. It's showing the city. We haven't actually seen any characters yet. Um, even though it's showing the bus, it might be Kara. But that this episode, you guys, was very intense. Um, Todd died. The little girl still trusts us because she ran to us as, after everything was over. And then I accidentally killed Carl's son. Which, oops, I just wanted him off of me and to shut his mouth. Well, he did. But anyways, I'm not really sure Marcus's future because I did pick the difficulty that we might lose a character. So I'm not really sure what's going to be going on with him. Connor, I think I'm getting the hang of a little bit. Um, it was really hard with Hank in the beginning because he didn't really want anything to do with me. It seemed like he warmed up pretty fast. I don't know if that's because of the decisions I made as a player that made him stick up for me or if it's kind of character development but anyways I am so excited to continue this I'm going to try to get another episode out this weekend so look out for that for what would it be number three yeah of Detroit Become Human and if you guys like I said are enjoying it so far make sure to drop a big old like down below and if you guys want to see me continue and if you're seeing choices that you haven't seen on other gameplays I know this game has been out for a while but if you guys are seeing new things let me know in the comments down below and if you guys want to find out how my story ends with Detroit then make sure to subscribe and ring the little bell button so you don't miss an episode Whew. But you guys know what to do because you're already doing it. Keep it tuned right here. It has been your girl, Head and Tail. And remember, you are my wings. Without you, I cannot fly. So therefore, we soar higher together. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!